Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you all of the top new features in Cisco's WebEx. Cisco has been investing heavily, and luckily for you, that means there's lots of new functionality that you can start taking advantage of. If you wanna jump around this video, feel free to click on the timestamps in the description. Otherwise, let's jump on the PC and let's check out what's new. New feature number one, the WebEx app is now just one app. In the past, you had two separate apps. There was one for meetings and then a separate app for Teams, and you had to jump back and forth between the two of them. Now, all of your calls, messages, and meetings all happen in one place in the new WebEx app. Here, if you see my desktop, I simply have one icon for WebEx, and when I launch it, this will get me to all of my meetings and Teams all in one place. New feature number two, WebEx include some very impressive background noise cancellation. And for this one, I have my earplugs in because we're gonna test this out to see how it works. And I don't know about you, but anytime I join a meeting and I look at my carpet or my rug and I see some fluff, I really have to clean it up. So I've got my vacuum cleaner right here. By the way, Dyson, amazing vacuum cleaner. And let's test this out to see how it works. So now as I'm talking, if I wanna vacuum up that fluff, this is extremely loud and I would guess this would probably be disruptive to the call. Luckily, WebEx can remove all of that noise. To do it, let's head down to the microphone down here under audio options, click on the carrot, and then let's click into settings. Within settings, there's now a new option at the bottom here that says remove background sound. I'm gonna turn on the microphone, and so right now it's extremely loud. Let's remove the background sound to see how it sounds. Wow, that's pretty impressive. It sounds like it pretty much removes the vacuum even though it's going at full blast right now, right next to me. All in all, that's pretty impressive background noise cancellation. New feature number three, WebEx can automatically detect different hand gestures. So let's say you're in a meeting and you wanna maybe clap for someone, maybe give them a thumbs up, or maybe you don't like the presentation and you wanna give it a thumbs down. WebEx will detect that and help broadcast your gesture. So how do we take advantage of this? Well, down on the bottom, there's an emoji icon or the reactions icon. On. When we click on this, we see all the different reactions that we could send. Now you could click here and you could send a reaction or instead you can simply do the gesture and it'll automatically send it for you. To enable this, down at the bottom there's a toggle. We need to toggle that on. Once we toggle that on, we see this rectangle around each of the different reactions that we can recreate. So let's test this out. First off, I can raise my hand if I have a question. There you see WebEx detected that I raised my hand and now my hand is up. Maybe the presentation is good, I like it. Let's give a little golf clap over here just to show our appreciation. And there it picked it up. Once again, we could do the thumbs up, or if you really don't like a point that the presenter makes, you could also give it the thumbs down and WebEx also detects that. New feature number four, you can now let your attendees choose which breakout room they wanna join. And maybe let's take a step back. First off, what is a breakout room? Well, here we are meeting in a larger session. Maybe we wanna go off and have a brainstorm session and everyone wants to move into a smaller group. Once we finish our small group discussions, we can rejoin the main session. Those are breakout rooms. To enable breakout rooms, down on the bottom, click on the ellipsis for more options, and then you can enable breakout sessions. When you turn that on, this will open up a dialogue over here, and in the past, you can have people automatically be assigned to one of the different sessions or breakout rooms. You could also manually choose who goes to which room, but now there's a new option where you could give your participants some freedom and let them choose what session they wanna join. New feature number five, WebEx now includes some fairly impressive artificial intelligence capabilities. And now don't worry, the Terminator is not yet coming to get you. The WebEx AI only has virtuous intentions. How do you use the WebEx AI? Well, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you see this pleasant looking icon. This is the WebEx AI. So what can it do for you? Well, first off, it can make your meetings a lot more productive and efficient. And to start with that, it'll take notes or a transcript of your meeting. So here I'm going to unmute my microphone and it's now listening to me. So if you haven't already, I highly recommend subscribing to the Kevin YouTube channel. When I stop talking over on the right hand side, here you see who spoke and then you also see a transcript of what that person said. 
And let's say this is a pretty important point from this meeting. So I can click on this text to highlight it and this will add it to the highlights. So if anyone reads a transcript later on, they could also read this point and make sure that they subscribe to the Kevin Stratford YouTube channel. Along with simply talking and getting a transcript of the conversation, you can also let WebEx know when you make decisions and it'll automatically add it to the highlights. So as you're having your conversation, if you say we made a decision for whatever, WebEx will listen to that and it'll add it to a record for the conversation. So why don't we test this out? I'm going to unmute and we just made the decision that you are going to subscribe to the Kevin Stratford YouTube channel. Now, if I click over into the highlights tab here, I see a highlight that the WebEx AI automatically created on my behalf. So what it did is it heard that we made a decision and it knows that when you make a decision, well, that's important. So it highlights it here in the notes. Not only does it listen for decisions, but it also listens if someone's gonna follow up with something, if there's a due date. So basically the WebEx AI will hold you accountable. You can no longer say, oh no, I don't remember that from the meeting because the WebEx AI will remember it on your behalf. If you're wondering, well, what are all the different ways that I can interact with the WebEx AI? I've included a link in the description of this video that'll give you an overview. On this page, you'll see all the different voice commands that you could use to talk to your assistant. You'll also see keywords that the WebEx AI listens for. So once again, we use the example with the decision. Now you might be wondering, well, wow, this WebEx AI is just gonna hold me accountable. Doesn't it have any fun? Well, down below, you can also get to know your WebEx assistant. For example, it can even tell you jokes. Okay, WebEx, tell me a joke. Down here, you can see, because he used up all his cash. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's got a good sense of humor. What can I say? New feature number six, WebEx now includes a music mode. So what does music mode mean and why would you ever use it? Well, maybe you wanna play a nice song to your coworkers, but more realistically, maybe you're a music teacher and your students playing the piano and unfortunately it just doesn't sound that good because the audio gets compressed so much. So what can we do about that? Well, let's turn on music mode. To turn on music mode, go down to the microphone icon on the bottom and let's click on the carrot icon. Next, let's click on settings. Within settings, there's now a new option at the bottom called music mode, and by default, it's unchecked. To the right of that, there's an info icon, and if you hover over, it'll tell you what it does. But instead of reading that, let's actually see how it works. So I'm gonna play a song here, and we'll turn music mode on and off to see what type of impact it has. So if you heard that with music mode turned on, you get a little bit less compression and the music quality has a little bit more fidelity. New feature number seven, WebEx now supports a dark theme in the meeting experience. So especially as it's getting late at night, I have all this light chrome around the meeting experience and it starts to hurt my eyes after a while. Luckily, I can turn on dark theme. To turn on dark theme, let's go to the top menu bar and let's click on show menu bar. We now see all the different menus. Let's click on the one that says view and within the view menu towards the bottom, there's the option that says themes. By default, it's set to the light theme. We can also change it to the dark theme. And finally, my eyes can get a break. New feature number eight. When I'm sharing my screen, the participant, the chat and other panels now float so I can continue to monitor them as I'm sharing my screen. Here right now, I'm sharing my program DaVinci Resolve. When I hover over here, I see all of my different screen sharing controls. Now, if I click on participants or if I click on chat, you see these panels appear. I can place these anywhere I want on the screen so I can continue to stay on top of the conversation or see who's joining and leaving the meeting while I'm sharing my screen. New feature number nine, the meeting experience has been cleaned up. Down across the bottom here, I have some of the most 
most used controls. Here I could toggle my microphone to mute it on or off. I could turn on or off my video. I could share my screen. So all these controls have been simplified and they're at the forefront so I have easy access to them. New feature number 10. You can now include a cover image along with your profile. So what does this mean? Well, when someone looks up your contact card, not only will they see your photo, but they're also going to see a nice cover image. How do you set this up? Well, let's go up to the profile picture in the top left-hand corner. When you click on this, let's go down to the option that says edit profile. Within edit profile here at the top, I see my profile picture and I see my contact card over on the left-hand side. Now down below, this is a new feature where I can choose my cover image. So I could go through and make my profile or contact card look a little bit friendlier. Now, right now I can only choose from this pre-selected group. However, coming soon, I'll also be able to upload my own custom background. Not only can I edit the cover image for my personal profile, but I can also do it for my various spaces. Here's the New York flagship space for the Kevin Cookie Company, and I'm currently in the general space. If I click on this edit icon, this allows me to edit the space profile. Down below here too, I can also choose a cover image. And once again, coming soon, I'll be able to upload my own custom background image. Speaking of customizing the experience, this brings us to new feature number 11, and you can now choose additional themes for your WebEx experience. To select different themes, go up to the profile picture in the top left-hand corner, and then let's go down to settings. Within settings over on the left hand side, let's go down to the option that says appearance. Previously, you had the option of going with the light theme or what's called the default theme, or you could select the dark theme. But now there are some additional themes. They've now added the bronze theme, the jade theme, and also the lavender theme. And as an extra bonus, not only do you get them in light theme, but you also get a dark theme variation of all of those new themes. New feature number 12, and this is the last new feature of today. And before you cry and feel despair that this is it, keep in mind that WebEx is investing heavily and before you know it, there will be even more new features and you'll find another video like this. With feature number 12, this is one of my favorite ones. You can now add a URL to a space. Here I am within the general space for our New York flagship store. Up on the top tabs, there's now an option to add a new tab. Let's click on this. When we click to add a new tab, we can name the shortcut and we can also enter a website address. Let me go ahead and do that. Here I enter the Kevin Cookie Company and the KevinCookieCompany.com. When I click on add now, this adds a new tab on top. So all of my employees with just one click, they can go to our homepage to see what the latest and greatest is with our cookie company. All right, well, that was a quick look at all of the new functionality. If you found out some new things that you'll start taking advantage of, please give this video a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you wanna see me cover any other topics, leave a comment down below. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.